I'm just like every other audiophile. I think that, I think that, God, that hurt. I think that what I know today, based on my experiences, is how all of hi-fi works. I've heard hundreds of systems, hundreds of combinations. So I'm knowledgeable, I'm confident, and I'm dumb. Yep, f***ing dumb. Want to know why? Stick around. My experiences so far have led me to think that Class D amplification is subpar. Sure, I'm aware that there's very, very high-end amplifiers that use Class D amplification, but I'm not looking at amplifiers that are more expensive than a Mercedes. Heck, I'd rather own a Mercedes, I think. And take Class D amplification with full range drivers that are high sensitivity, that's a big no-no. That doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. But then I met the Billy Amp and it slapped me across the face, told me to sit down and pay attention. So that's what I did. So the Billy is an integrated amp featuring a custom Class A tube preamp using ECC99 tubes, also compatible with 12BH7s and 12AU7s, has two sets of analog inputs, a set of pre-out that can be used with auxiliary amplifier or subwoofers or active speakers. The amplification part of the Billy also uses an ice power amplification pushing 215 watts and can handle speakers 85 decibels in sensitivity at four or eight ohms. It also has a built-in high resolution DAC which uses an ESS Sabre chip, capable of sampling rates of 192 kilohertz, as well as 32-bit high-definition audio. So this DAC provides two inputs, Toslink Optical and one Speedif Coax. And it also features an APTX Bluetooth receiver. Now the fun doesn't stop there, because it also has a built-in phono stage with ground for moving magnet cartridges. The speaker outputs here are my favorite. Why? Because they can accept all kinds of connections, whether it's bare wire, banana plug, spades or plugs. Every speaker connector, in my opinion, should be like this, whether it's on a speaker or on an amp. Oh, and it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the front. See, the remote is very straightforward. Between the power, the inputs, the volume, it's pretty responsive. That's good. So the Billy Mark II starts at roughly 2000 US dollars. And when you order it, it's configurable to your liking as far as aesthetics. You can choose between a silver version, a black version. You can take the regular silver pin JJ tubes, or you can choose to upgrade to the gold pins. You can also choose the type of wood that the front knobs are made out of. For instance, black walnut, birch, bird's eye maple, and a few others. The knobs feel very smooth, very, very smooth. Like there's no, there's just enough resistance so that it's not free flowing or it feels like it's about to fall off. Not at all. It feels like it's very well built and well put together. There's also several little accessories and swag gear that you can choose to acquire with your purchase of the Billy Amp. So they ship worldwide, but the free express shipping is for US and Canada only. And like all good Hi-Fi products, this does come with a 30 day evaluation period. The 30 day trial period gives you ample amount of time for you to be able to let the amplifier settle and break in before you decide on whether or not this app works for you. And the wife approval factor is pretty high on this one. I mean, it's small, it's self-contained, you can customize the look, and which audiophile spouse doesn't like a little wood knob on the front? So I tried the Billy amp with a few different speaker setups. One, I tried it with conventional three-way floor standing speakers, such as Bowers & Wilkins, Klipsch. Also tried it with my own reference speakers, which are open baffle, full range, high sensitivity drivers. And just for fun, I also tried it with magnet pens. What stood out the most was the power in the bass. Like, wow, it's punchy, it's strong, it's fast. Like, party bass. Yep. The rest of the sound character, is really on par for this price level. I mean, in terms of all the audiophile mumbo jumbo. So this is really a matter of perspective. For instance, if you're new in your journey to hi-fi, you might say, 
Wow, I've never heard my speakers do this before. When you feel that bass. Soundstage, the airiness. If you're experienced in hi-fi and you already have a high-end hi-fi rig, you might say, yeah, it doesn't really have the level of refinement that my $10,000 amp has. No shit. It provides a wide soundstage, good dynamics, good detail, air between the instruments, and all of those other little mumbo jumbo audiophile characteristics that makes us feel superior to normal people. <laughs> In the past, I always felt Class D made all the issues present in digital audio feel a bit exaggerated. For instance, the glare and highs, the thin sounding mid-range, and the relatively flat stereo image. Well, the Billy Amp has none of those issues. Potentially one of the reasons for this is probably because of the preamp section. It's class A, uses tubes, hmm. Let me explain what I mean with an analogy. Think of a class D amp, in this case, ICE amplification module that's in here, as a common stake. And the preamp section as a technique or method that you're gonna cook that steak and the accompanying ingredients. So a common steak on its own, cooked in a pan, cooked on a gas grill, using salt, will taste fine, but you're not gonna impress anybody, especially not a chef. But cook that common steak like a master chef would, meaning use a combination of wood coals, a cast iron pan, butter, thyme, garlic, and give that steak a gorgeous buttery crust. Yeah, now we're talking. So the Billy Amp is a common steak. It's accessible to everyone. You don't need to be rich to buy one. You don't even need to understand complexities of how hi-fi works because it already comes gorgeously cooked with a butter crust and the right ingredients to season it. Speaking of which, when I replace the stock JJ tubes with expensive Cryotone 12BH7s, the level of air went up. The depth in the soundstage improved a little bit. The refinement in the highs got a little bit better. And then when I used easy to get gold pin 12BH7 electroharmonics tubes, then you got a nice darker sound, a little bit more laid back. The warmth got up a little bit. Yeah. And really, no matter what genre I played, the music sounded good. So who should buy this? Well, if you've been following so far, you can already tell. If you're an experienced audiophile, and you know what glorious sound sounds like, but maybe you're looking for a second system, either for your den or for your office. Well, easy, simple, doesn't take a lot of room, and it will satisfy your audiophile, your experienced audiophile ear in the context of your den where you're sitting down, kicking your feet up, and you're not necessarily sitting in a sweet spot or in your office while you're working and you want a little bit of background music, but you want your background music to sound good. The other group of people that should buy this, you're looking to build a system to take the music that you listen to today to a high fidelity standard. But you wanna do it without the complexity, without all the extra components and boxes, without having to worry about, oh, do cables matter, do cables not matter? Who cares? This is the all-in-one solution that will get you a high fidelity sound with customizable looks, and a touch of luxury by being able to roll those tubes at a price that is generally attainable. And it's Canadian made with no maple syrup stains. And on that, thanks for watching. Go check out the Billy Amp on Heaven Eleven's website. And I'm gonna go put some ice on my jaw.